Alright everyone, this is Crypto Trade Hub with another lightning fast crypto market update and you're well aware that April has gone off to a rocky start. Bitcoin encountered resistance at its 200-day moving average of approximately $48,000, while Ethereum encountered resistance near its 200-day moving average of approximately $3,500. However, they've reverted Bitcoin to their volume targeted control somewhere around 40 k where it's finding some support and also has a sizable amount of open interest. In terms of the options market, it is now hovering around $40,000. As a result, I believe it will find some solid chunky support at that level. And for Ethereum, it recovered all the way to $3,000 which is another significant volume control point as well as a significant area of open interest in the option market. Thus, once again, I believe that this will be a point of dispute. It could provide some solid support following a fairly significant decline in the crypto markets following rejection at the 200-day moving average. But what is causing all of this volatility during this pullback? I believe a large part of it is due to the inflation we're witnessing in the commodities market. As well as the general inflation created by such massive amount of quantitative easing. However, the Federal Reserve and all of these central banks have begun to moderate their monetary policies. They're beginning to tighten it, and the tightening is having an effect. Essentially, it's a faucet, and the more faucets you open, the more money is circulating in the ecosystem. As a result, prices tend to rise in that ecosystem due to the increased supply of dollars. Now, this also results in inflation as more dollars chase these assets. Regardless of whether they are commodities, stocks are scarce, right? So now we're in a bit of a pickle where prices have risen too quickly as a result of the COVID epidemic which severely harmed the supply chain. As a result, there is more money chasing fewer available goods. Thus, that is what is occurring. There's an inflationary spiral and as a result, prices are falling off in response. This is because interest rates are very certainly going to rise dramatically. When the inflation figures are released once a month, the Federal Reserve Open Market Committee releases their statement on what they will do with interest rates and in response to that inflation print. Thus, all of this inflation is whipsawing markets. Pricing one day due to that natural tendency toward greater prices during inflationary periods but fall the next day in expectation of aggressive rate hikes. Consequently, once again, rate hikes generally increase the cost of capital, resulting in less liquidity in the ecosystem due to less borrowing. As a result, there is a massive whipsaw in action. Why are we discussing this now? It's because this week, in the second week of April, we have a surge of statements from the Federal Reserve, the Central Bank, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, all of which provide information on the state of inflation. As a result, markets are extremely volatile since there is no certainty about what is happening in terms of forward sight for oil and commodity prices. There is a developing war and all of this creates enormous volatility in the markets, which crypto cannot escape. I recently saw an excellent article from Bank of America on how all of this dust will settle. Perhaps there will be a big washout in the markets, similar to what occurred in March 2020 when there will be a very very significant downturn, which I believe will occur. When the Fed announces a tightening of monetary policy, the markets respond. Everything sells out, individuals are liquidated, bodies are cleaned off the streets, and the market makes a gradual recovery. That is one thing, but according to this Bank of America analysis, if something like that occurred and there was this massive flush out that people are talking about, commodities in crypto would surge following that. At the end of the day, I believe that much of our faith in the US currency is being put to the test right now. I believe that a significant portion of our belief system in the petrodollar is weakening as other countries begin to say, hey, we are aware that we have been able to trade oil and dollars exclusively since the 1970s, but guess what, we're going to do it on different terms now. Thus, a little portion of the global order appears to be collapsing, resulting in increased market uncertainty which is why you're witnessing up and downs, up and downs. However, the short story is that I have never been more bullish on crypto, on a peer-to-peer -peer form of money that is censorship resistant, political, and neutral. It will be able to be transported virtually free of charge anywhere in the world at any time of day, and these are software programs after all. You could make them extensible via APIs, this just makes money smarter. Thus, it is an unavoidable trend that money will become completely digital that it will all migrate to a blockchain, at least that is my belief. 
When we witness some of these short-term market changes, we always want to zoom out. Alright, has anything changed in terms of my beliefs? And why am I staying for the long haul? Nothing has changed. Bitcoin was not hacked and nothing was damaged. Everything is still operating normally. There are some macroeconomic uncertainties that contribute to the price volatility, but I continue to believe that 5 years from now, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency will be the end-all be-all of finance and money. Therefore, it makes no difference if I purchase it for $3,000 per Ethereum, $2,000 or $1,000, since I believe that over the long run, there will be a trend that values these assets at multiple of their current value, tenfold, twentyfold, and one hundredfold. Thus, framing things in this manner, recognizing that you do not always have to go all in and all out at any particular time, simply ease into the market, gain comfort, and gain an understanding of what this market is. That is fundamental. Comprehend what cryptocurrency is and become proficient at navigating exchanges. Obtain a community, and there you have the market update. Now, if you don't already have a community, you don't have a platform for education, for being more knowledgeable about crypto, for keeping up with the crypto news, and for seeing all the newest breaking insights, technical analysis, and fundamental analysis. If you don't already own that, but it sounds fascinating and you're tempted to acquire it, to that end, I strongly advise you to simply click the subscribe button below. Subscribe now to receive all of our breaking insights. This is the Crypto Trade Hub. Join our group and hope to see you in one of our future videos. Maintain your awesomeness.